Hey guys, we are almost at the end of breakup here in the great state of Alaska, and it's about 19 days until, uh, if I do my math right, until I'm due to be picked up and taken into town to start the work season. Uh, boo hoo, but it's a, it's a fact of life, it's a reality, I gotta deal with it. I wanna finish my bridge. Uh, phase one and phase two were completed last, last uh, freeze up last fall. Unfortunately, I was not able to get up the materials I wanted from town. I had some logistical problems last winter. So we're going to have to just kind of do a plan B. And this is going to be not phase three, but phase 2.5. I'm going to cobble together some ramps. That was the only real part left I needed to do before I could actually start using the bridge in the summertime. Uh, the water levels have dropped so that it, technically I wouldn't need to use the bridge, but doggone it, I built it and I'm going to use it. So why don't you just wait there a second, I'm going to gather up my materials and we're going to start building a makeshift ramp uh, that'll probably, well, it'll, it's going to have to get me by till next fall, I suppose, but uh, we're going to make it usable so you just sit there, relax, I'll get out of the sun and we'll just go on this little ride together. Phase one of phase 2.5, if you want to call it that. I dropped this log off last winter because I was pretty sure that I was going to have to use it to uh, get the, the ramp going. So rather than carry it any distance, I figured, well, I'm coming through here anyway, I'll just drop it. So I'm going to measure this off at, I think it's 55 inches is the width of the bridge. I'm going to measure it off at 55 inches, cut it, and then I'm going to roll it into position. Then uh, I am going to find a smaller log and cut it to 55 inches and put it up against that one so I built kind of a little log ramp if you get my drift and then I'm going to pin those all together using a scrap piece of plywood or two and some timber locks so that's what we're going to do ground is still frozen Obviously, but we'll get enough dug out of there just to get this last piece or two in. I guess I got my log out of the way. Boy, this is a scab job. <laughs> I've never seen one, but we need the bridge. We put the bridge in here for a purpose. By golly, we're going to use it. And what I'll probably do is probably come up this summer on one of my trips and get this taken care of the proper way. We've got some roots in there too, as usual. All right. All righty. That ought to give us a pretty good transition. Got a little bit of goop here to take out in the middle. Crud in the way. That, uh, that's good enough, I guess, as long as we're scabbing it together. We might as well scab it for sure, right? <sighs> Alright, well, uh, Secure those together and call it good for what we need right now. And then, uh, 
We will worry about the rest later. Well, that's one cobbled together mess if I've ever seen one, but it'll get the job done. Uh, now you're saying, well, what's the big deal? This uh, little overflow creek isn't that deep. Obvi yeah, four-wheeler can go across there, obviously. However, it's deep enough that the bed of my freight trailer would not uh, be above the water line, and I really don't want to take the chance on some valuable items uh, getting wet and maybe damaged. And I need the bridge anyway, so it's just a... I might as well use it. I used it all last winter, actually, with the snowmobile. It worked out great. Uh, and it'll it'll get me through until I can get back up here and, and finish it. But anyway, we'll uh, call our quits for today. I think we're done. Okay, so technically this piece is OSB. <laughs> this is just a this is just a temporary thing. Remember, kids, it's just temporary. So we're gonna take our timber locks, which are longer than what we need, but that's okay. At least for this log. Thing in place good enough. We're only going to be using this maybe a half a dozen times till uh, fall when we come up for the winter. So. That should do it, right? Now I'll do the other side. Let's go over here. This is a far cry from what I envisioned it being, but like I said, stuff happens and I just, I had some logistical problems, as I said, that I will have to address for, for, next, uh, for next year. Just things did not go according to plan. They go in good, but they do burn up a lot of your battery power. I can do about six, six to eight of those six inches with the battery. Good. And there we have it. One more side to go. How's my hair? I need a haircut. Anyway, that's it. We cobbled together some, trying to stay out of the sun, it keeps moving on me, some uh, quick ramps to uh, get the uh, bridge here in operation. Uh, the creek itself isn't deep enough to cause me any problems with the four-wheeler at all, but possibly the freight trailer uh, stuff would get wet there and I don't want to take that chance. So this needed to be done, even though it's just a temporary hatchet job. Uh, it'll suffice until I get the proper materials up here. Uh, I had some logistical problems last winter uh, getting onto the road system and getting to where I had my supplies and stuff stashed. So I got absolutely no lumber up here, which really hurt. Uh, I really needed that stuff up here and it just didn't happen. So I focused on uh, food and gasoline, stuff like that. But that's just the way it goes. We'll try harder next time. Anyway. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it kind of interesting and enjoyable, at least laughable, watching me suffer 
I know that's always worth a good laugh. Anyway, please like, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. It'll let you know when I got more god awful stuff coming. And we will see you on the next one. The sun's moving. There we go. Yay!